Hi, thank you for your interest in my talk, Privacy, Crime, National Security, Human Rights, and You. In this talk, I want to go over various aspects of data collection, uh, storage, logging, and sales, and how that can impact the privacy and of everyone involved, including you. Um, my own background is that uh, for many years I've worked for the uh, Dutch intelligence agencies and I've until quite recently also been a regulator of the Dutch intelligence agencies where I had to rule on the legality of hacking and eavesdropping assignments. So this is a subject that is quite close to my heart. These days so much data gets collected by devices and apps and software and networks that it's getting ridiculous. Both governments and commercial entities and advertisers are collecting all this data and uh, marketing it, brokering it, and we're now flooded in personal and private data of everyone around the world. Um, not all of this data collection is legal, not all of the selling is legal, not all of the advertising is legal, but for example, especially in the US, most forms of data brokerage are entirely legal and you can go up to a, a data broker and ask for a list of pregnant women and you will get uh, targeting rules for advertising for pregnant women and these easily allow you to identify who these persons are and that's probably not a good situation. In a recent news article, um, it was shown that according to the American government, the information you can now buy online about people is of similar quality and magnitude as the data collected by intelligence agencies. And this is sort of bad in two ways because we know how much data the advertising agencies are collecting. Now, this talk is called uh, Privacy, uh, Human Rights, National Security, Crime and You in the Middle. And it may be a novel thought that you have anything to do with this. And with you, I also mean we, us, software developers. Every bit of data that's being traded around the world is actually uh, gathered from software that was written by a software developer somewhere. And of course, we are not personally responsible for all the evil in the world. But there is this concept that the responsibility for bad things, of course, starts with the people that order the bad things to happen. And the further you get away from that decision, if you only make the database, for example, your responsibility is diluted a lot, but it does not get diluted down to zero. Um, whenever we write a program and that program asks for permissions to gather a location, we open the window for that location to be collected and stored and logged and eventually sold. And as developers, on one hand, we just implement uh, what the project tells us to implement, but on the other hand, we have a lot of freedom of choice. What, which permissions do we really want? Do we really need to log everything and for how long? These are many of the choices that happen between our fingers and the keyboard, where we are in a position to maybe log a lot less and think a lot harder. And in the end, in this way, create a more just world. However, life is never simple. Um, let's say you write uh, software that enables communications and you've made it so perfect that you have no data on those communications and there, there's nothing you know about the people communicating and then the police shows up and it turns out that people using your software are doing some truly very bad things. In which case, it starts to become a bit difficult to say, yeah, I'm really sorry that this girl got abducted, uh, but I'm very happy that we could not help the police. This is a difficult challenge to deal with. And in the talk, I also go over a little bit about how to deal with those feelings, because it turns out that not all data collection is bad, and you actually have a role to thinking that, to think about that. I end the presentation with some pointers where to learn more, and I hope uh, that you'll be interested in hearing about uh, the aspects of human rights, privacy, crime, national security, and you.